AWS Security Hub gives you a prioritized view of your security alerts and security posture across your AWS accounts. With Security Hub, you now have a single place that aggregates, organizes, and prioritizes your security alerts, or findings, for multiple AWS services as well as from AWS Partner Solutions. In this demo, we will show you how to enable Security Hub for all of your organization accounts. Security Hub Administrator accounts can now have up to 5,000 member accounts. AWS Organizations provide centralized management for your accounts. Using your organization structure makes it easier to enable Security Hub for all of your accounts. This increases the coverage for Security Hub checks and findings, which provides a more accurate picture of your overall security posture. This demo will show you how to designate a delegated Security Hub Administrator account for your organization, Enable organization accounts as Security Hub member accounts. The first step to using your organization structure to manage accounts is to designate the Delegated Administrator account for Security Hub. The Delegated Administrator can see the accounts in the organization and becomes the Security Hub Administrator account. The Organization Management account designates the Delegated Administrator account. From the Security Hub landing page, the Organization Management account chooses Go to Security Hub. Security Hub automatically detects that the account is an organization management account and displays the Delegated Administrator section. To select the account, the Organization Management account enters the account ID, then chooses Delegate. Designating the Delegated Administrator account automatically grants trusted access with organizations for Security Hub. The Delegated Administrator account also has Security Hub enabled and becomes the Security Hub Administrator account. If the Organization Management account already has Security Hub enabled, then the Delegated Administrator section is on the General tab of the Settings page. The Delegated Administrator account chooses which organization accounts to enable as Security Hub member accounts. For the Security Hub Administrator account, the Accounts page contains the list of all of the organization accounts. The type for these accounts is via AWS Organization. The list provides the account names in addition to the account IDs. Security Hub also has plans to add account names to finding information. By default, the organization accounts are not enabled and their status is not a member. The Security Hub Administrator account also sees the Auto Enable toggle, which indicates whether to automatically enable new organization accounts. By default, Auto Enable is off. The first time the Security Hub Administrator account views the Accounts page, Security Hub displays a banner with an Enable option. Selecting this Enable option automatically enables all of the member accounts and begins to run checks against those accounts. For those accounts, it also enables the CIS AWS Foundations Benchmark Standard and the AWS Foundational Security Best Practices Standard. Security Hub also toggles the Auto Enable toggle to Auto Enable is On. Security Hub will then automatically enable new accounts as they are added to the organization. This ensures that you maintain coverage as your organization expands. The Security Hub Administrator account can also manually disassociate and enable selected accounts. To exclude an organization account as a member account, select the account, then choose Disassociate Account. Disassociated accounts remain in the list with the status of Not a Member. You can re-enable these accounts at any time. To enable selected accounts from the organization, select the accounts, then choose Add Member. If you have accounts that are not part of your organization, then you can use the manual invitation process to add those accounts as member accounts. Manually added accounts have a type of by invitation. If you're interested in learning more about Security Hub's features, such as integrations with other AWS or third-party services, or how to review and remediate findings, then visit aws.amazon.com securityhub for more details.